Smoke billowed into the sky of the Sudanese capital Khartoum on Tuesday morning as a large explosion went off, momentarily interrupting a broadcast on Pan-Arab channel El Arabiya. Fighting between rival factions, the National Army and the RSF paramilitary group is now in its fourth day. Scores of civilians and fighters have been killed and injured. As the fighting rages on, many residents are trapped at home. The last few days have been pretty much all of us just staying inside, indoors, and trying to keep our sanity intact. Uh, bombardments usually start around 4 a.m. and they continue on for a few hours, but today they haven't stopped. I don't know if you can hear from the background, but this has been the story for the past four days. On Tuesday morning, U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken said that a U.S. embassy convoy had come under fire. Of course, unsafe. It's not an isolated incident. On Monday, the European Union said that its envoy to Sudan was assaulted in his residence. As the fighting rages, international heavyweights, including the U.S. and Egypt, have sought to bring the two parties together. We're ready to mediate with our brothers in Sudan in order to reach a truce and have negotiations. This is still standing. Our contact with the Sudanese army and the rapid support forces is ongoing. Despite the appeals, the Sudanese military promised in a statement issued late on Monday night to widen the scope of its operations against the RSF paramilitary group.